Hey folks, I'm Brendan. You're watching The Overqualified Henchman. It's Halloween, and that means I'm going to need a costume. Now, you guys know me, I love Spider-Man. Wearing a Lycra bodysuit all night? Less so. So in the spirit of old Ben Riley, I'm going to be creating a DIY Spider-Man costume based on Rosie Higgins' design from a Project Rooftop contest a few years back. It's your friendly neighborhood, overqualified Spider-Hench. <laughs> Now, I said loosely based because I left this a little late, so it's going to be less on the money and a little more what I could pick up for little or no money. First part's easy. I borrowed a Spider-Man hoodie. Now, this is one of those costume hoodies where the hood zips up into a mask, so technically it's a costume all on its own, but that'd be a little weak. I also don't want to have it zipped up all night, so I'm going to need something to go underneath. Couldn't find a black costume shirt in time, so we're going to drop the symbiote elements and go classic red. And since I'm dropping the black from the torso, I'm also going to drop it for the legs blue jeans. But Brendan, does that mean you're not wearing pants in this shot? I don't know what's led you to believe I'm wearing pants in any of my videos. I'm going for something a little bit punk here, so I needed an outrageous, ostentatious belt. Coming along, but I couldn't find a pair of those knee-high chucks in my size. I did, however, have a pair of blue high tops kicking around. I had some red laces, and we're in business. Did any of you know that shoe stores don't sell laces anymore? Like, apparently that's not a thing. I had to go to a cobbler, which apparently is still a thing. That covers the basics, but now we're getting into the more costumey elements. For instance, the gloves! Aha! Eh, jazz hands. Okay, these are pretty funny, but they don't really fit. New plan, hand wraps. So I just had these lying around because, you know, I box, I'm a boxer. It's not true, obviously. I debated what color I wanted to go with. Could have gone red, maybe white for sort of that Cindy Moon vibe, but I decide to keep it simple, stick with black. And before somebody points it out, I'm obviously not doing these correctly for support. It's just for the look and comfort. Looks pretty good. For the mask, classic red bandana plus black fabric marker equals web mask. This is also pretty light and breathable, which is a plus. Hopefully this doesn't muffle the audio too badly. Regardless, time to lose the glasses. One last piece. The goggles. I love these things so much, you don't even know. And there we have it. DIY Spider-Man. <laughs> Thanks for watching. You'd be giving me a treat if you clicked the like button or left a comment down below letting me know what you're dressing up as this year. You can find more nerdy videos, including lots of Spider-Man stuff, on my channel. Until next time, have a safe and happy Halloween, and keep on henching. My spider sense is tingling.